I'm going to break down, react, and review Dimash singing S.O.S. So let's sing something. <gasps> la la la. If you are new to my channel, be sure to like and subscribe and hit the little bell icon. Yay! This channel is here to teach you how to sing. If you're like, wait, I don't really want to learn how to sing. I just want to know how my singer does what they do. Well, then you're in the right channel as well. Today, I'm going to go over Dimash singing SOS. I really hope that I'm saying his name right. Um, you guys, okay, I did a Morset Amon video and you were all like, you have to review him. So it's like, okay, fine, I will. Um, I saw one video of him singing like a long time ago um and i tried to do a review and it got all botched and the whole deal and i haven't listened to him since but i have not heard him sing this song and you guys voted for it on my community channel so let's get started done Hang on. How tall is he? He seems very short and very petite. I did not realize that. Hmm, I wonder. Okay, okay. Where do I even start? Um, first off, in the very, very beginning with his vocals, I don't know what he's saying, but I don't think you need to know what he's saying because he's so beautifully painting the picture with his voice. Um, the sound that he's doing, okay, to hit a high note, is difficult, but to hit a high note quietly, still keeping that vocal stretch so there's still some weight to it without just air is extremely hard to do. It takes skill. It's not something that just anyone can do. You have to really train for it or be like super gifted. So at the very beginning when he's doing that, that is amazing and then for him to just go from this tiny thin high and then drop to the low still keeping it slightly lifted just so you know still keeping it lifted and then shifting through Ugh, i just got to keep going because i'm sure I, i'm gonna have a million things to say today where did that come from it and then he releases just enough to pull you in that note alone da, 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 for a guy to hit is very difficult but the fact that he just just said it he did it really thin and gentle just you're at another level you're just at another level that is control to the extreme where he is able to just fully in, engulf himself in the story 
and not worry about the vocals, knowing that they're going to be there. He trusts his voice. He, he knows his voice. You can see it. There's no doubt he knows what he's doing. This is, this is, yeah, yeah. Okay, so him hitting that big note, I want you to notice that when he hit that high note, he stayed lifted, but his knees bend it. Yes, he did bend his whole body, uh, more a stage presence kind of thing of, you know, but he's bending his weight into his knees and that's taking any tension off those shoulders, dropping the weight into the body, 50-50, 50% down, 50% lift in that nasal pharynx so that way he can make these quick changes within it. <laughs> I got to stop him there because you got to see his mouth. What? That, 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 that open space there is beautiful. And if you notice, he went down, he did a slide. Duh. What? That. <laughs> now, when he kicks back his head, this is stage. This is not technique. He's still putting the weight down into his legs, but since he has this skill level, he's able to do the struggle moves. So as an audience, we feel that emotion. He just did do, 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 do. like that thing just kept going and going and going. So he has that air support. Many times I tell my students, I don't want you to breathe from the diaphragm. And that's simply because I don't want you to bottle up all that air and then have excess air. Because most songs, you don't need that much air. In this song, he needs that much air. And he's taking it in, he's supporting it perfectly. He's, sorry, is my battery running out? He's supporting it perfectly. And he's allowing that air to just thinly come out and he's using exactly what he needs. And the beauty of it is he's not bringing any weight from the bottom so he can take it higher and higher and higher without adding intention because he has that support. Okay, okay. I don't even know what note that was. <laughs> um, again, you see the knee. I'm like, I'm slightly speechless, you guys. I'm like, uh. Um, you see, the, I have to like break it down. You see the knees, you see the weight coming down, you see him lifting up. Um, that very last note was slightly squeezed, but I really do firmly believe it was squeezed on purpose. It was given for that uh, at the end. I don't think it needed to be squeezed out. Um, I think he could have totally hit it cleanly. But because of this story that he's telling and the dramatics of everything, it was done on purpose. And, and I don't say that very often. I usually don't. But in this case, I think it's pretty clear that it was. And then 
he gives it a moment of silence. And that's just amazing. There are so many songs that I wish people would give it a moment of silence. There, I always say there's music between the lines. When you're not singing, there's still music. And even when there's no sound, like what just happened there, there's still music. I love how he just gets into it. Why do I get the feeling he's about to just blow it out the water right now. <gasps> So as he's hitting that, God, that, which this time, just so you know, he added more weight and a little more gut to it, but he's doing that on purpose at this moment to build that up. But even as he's doing that, he's not, when you hear him do his low notes, um, you can hear it's more kind of in the throat and a little bit heavier. But when he's going into these high notes, he's making sure, that's why we call the term um, pingy. It sounds a little pingy, like it's a little bit thinner. Um, not thinner as in light, but thinner as in weight because it's not down here. It's a little more here. And he places his sound there before he goes into these junctions so that way the vocal cords can stretch and stretch and stretch and make the shifts that are needed for him to hit these I think I want to go a little higher and then nah, I'm going to go even higher because he's stretching it and holding it and not only that he's also doing a straight tone it's perfect because it creates this tension and then he's going to add a little bit of vibrato which is going to create a release uh, uh. i just love that contrast of his like gentle light vocals while the music is like Excess air. Again, using that air, using that moment without music, the moment of silence, allowing the silence in between to play its own music. That is beautiful. Go ahead and click here for my free downloadable cheat sheet on how to sing like Dimash, or at least try to. Go ahead and click here for all my other vocal coach reaction videos and come hang out with me and fellow singers in my Facebook group. The link is down below and I will see you next song. La la la.